Hi everybody, it's Kathy Dam. I just wanted to give you some tips on how to understand what kind of study design you're looking at based on just one or two sentences that you may have describing the study. The thing I want to caution against is looking at just the outcome as an indicator for the study design because many studies may have similar outcome measures but the design themselves um, might differ. So for example, I might ask you um, if you like turtles and because I have box turtles sitting over here. See, hello box turtles. Um, you might want to see, I might want to just see if you like them. And so I might ask you on a scale one to 10, how much do you like box turtles? If I just do that, if I just kind of approach you on the street or send you a survey on Facebook, that's just a survey, right? But I could do an experiment with the same outcome measure. So I might randomly assign half the people in my group to watch a funny clip about turtles and half the people to watch, um, something random, a control group, maybe just a, a non-funny clip about turtles. I like turtles. And so if I do that random experiment, or sorry, random assignment to two conditions, I now have an experiment. Now, after I randomly assign them to condition, I may say, on a scale of one to 10, how much do you like turtles? Do you see how the outcome was the same, but the design was different? So what you wanna be focusing on is how did the researcher set up the study? So if they say there are two groups, that's an indication to you that it was an experiment or perhaps a quasi experiment. Remember quasi experiments are where you have two groups and you're kind of acting as though you randomly assigned them, but maybe you couldn't. So for example, I might want to look at tall people versus short people. Well, I can't randomly assign you to be tall or short, but I can put you into groups and see how it affects maybe let's say income. Um, and so that in case we call that a quasi experiment because you kind of wanted it to be an experiment, but you were limited and couldn't. So that's just a little tip in trying to figure out what kind of study design you're looking at is what did the researcher do to the participant before they started recording the outcome? That will be a clip, uh, a tip, sorry, that will be a, um, a tool for you to decide whether it's an experiment, a quasi experiment, or not an experiment at all. Maybe it's just a correlational design where they're looking at survey answers.